All right, since YouTube will no longer allow me to use music, since I lost my ability to make long videos, no more boring music to open these things. So, I'm really far behind in these, so it's starting from the beginning. I'll try to try knock as many of these out on Thanksgiving morning as I can. And this was the first game of our season. Season 26 with Tulsa, the jumping sides in Conference USA. And as usual, starting off against Sean, real life best bud. So, as is typical in our games, I pass, he runs. And that's just how it is. And he is on a one-game win streak going into this game. So this time we're traveling up north to play on the road. So as you can see, late in the first quarter, we both traded drives, long, lengthy drives with punts on the edge of field goal range. But as most people know from last year, Taylor can run the ball pretty well. And we found that out once again. You can see they're hitting the tight end. Out a strong set. And Taylor's first touchdown of many on the day. So 7 nothing Stanford. We answer. You can see they're picking on user skills a little. Watts with the catch out the backfield, who had a pretty decent game for us. You can see there, third and one. Power our way through. Not many third and shorts we converted on a day, but one. And in man coverage on third and goal. Went the corner out to the big receiver to tie it at seven. So with the half winding down, and when I was getting the ball, you can see there, read option keeper. And then run up the middle with Taylor, his second touchdown today, so 14-7. So coming out, trying to spread, and you can see square is open, but or has a step at least, but corner makes up the ground. Go to the back shoulder, easy hit. Pick six, 21-7. Big jam there, but receiver comes up with the catch. We get a field goal before the half to make it 21-10. And hit the tight end there for a big play. Catching him in the blitz, 21-10. And fourth down going for it as we're at the edge of field goal range and we can't stop the run. Pick it up with the tight end, spread in the field. And then have to take four plays. But we get it in for the touchdown. So it cuts it 21-17. You can see there, fourth, or third and two. The first time the entire game, and I believe the only time that we stopped the draw. So we get the ball back. And taking advantage of man there. Hit the curl route. Corner was playing a little farther back. Misses a tackle. 24-21. And right after the kickoff, as typical with Stanford, especially last season against Southern Miss. We get the lead, or we get in the game, and Taylor breaks a long run. So 28-24. And then after back-to-back -back sacks, just chucking it down the field. At worst, it's a punt. Don't get it. And it's not picked either. So again, you can see there, a draw on third down as predictable. We don't stop it. They get the first down, and then a screen. And Taylor again gets a touchdown. So 35 to 24. Oh, I'm doing a little bit more. Checking down instead of trying to force it into coverage. Did a touchdown on third and two. Cut it to 30 35. This will kind of be a big play. Didn't dawn on me so much at the time. But try to cut it to three. Because we honestly were expecting we need to get the two and try to get a touchdown. So I usually don't like to show my plays, but I will. I'll give you the analogy behind why or the reasoning why I picked this play. You can see square runs a slant. That's my tight end Brown. Sanford plays mostly man, so figure the tight end off the line of scrimmage would not be able to be bumped by coverage, and we would be able to slide inside on the route. But it was not open, as you can see. But after they convert two third downs, we do get a stop. And you can see we're barely getting any time back. Oh, after a check down in the coverage and a complete catch a wheel route to catch a linebacker on receiver. And man, and he was open, safety 
did not react properly, but after run out of bounds because of no timeouts, you can see a sack. And that would do it. He's going to have no way of stopping the clock, so 35-30 would be, end up being the final score. So, as I said during the game, Sean, good game. I still just like you. But I'll be back next season as always. So, 0-1-1 start for us. And looking back, I believe, as a matter of fact, let me pull it up while the little highlight reel is running. Because I can pull up the stats here. If the computer wants to cooperate. Because obviously I knew for sure I threw a pick. They did not turn the ball over, which is really hard to beat Stanford when they run the ball so well if they're not going to turn the ball over. So we had the thing is you got to force them to pass. And you have to take advantage. We could not. You have to force them into third and long. And have to get on the field because he will still run the ball on third and long. And our inability to stop draw plays was really frustrating because it seemed like no matter what we called it, we could not do anything to get pressure, whether it be a blitz. A lot of different things tried. All fail. So running the ball, I mean, we had 23 yards. But we got sacked five times. Not really effective running. Had to pass the ball. You know, 422 yards isn't so bad. Um, a lot of them were having to call check down plays. You see, my running back had seven catches more because with so much man defense, receivers can't get open. So just check it down to the running back who is usually had enough space to make the catch. You have to make that adjustment. Holsters receivers are fast, but they're not as fast as I was hoping they were. You ran at Stanford has three receive or three corners with 95 speed. And higher. So, 0 and 1. Sucks. Hate losing to Sean. But up next would be a game against Mississippi State. An interesting game. One side, I never beat SEC teams. The other side, he has yet to beat me without Oklahoma. Well, something's out to give. So, that's the end of this one. Pop this next one up here in a couple minutes. <laughs> 